morning, Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. Marcus here, your chef on a mission. It is Monday morning, August 30th. Um, September is a day away. It's a, crazy that uh, um, September is here, September 2021. Um, if you're tuning in live, it is 9.35ish. Uh, AM on the 30th uh, if you're tuning in on YouTube it's always on the replay drop a comment wherever you're tuning in from YouTube or Facebook say hello um, here's my sound check that we're gonna do here um, and there we go sound is on you can hear me I can hear myself all right so I want to talk this morning about scallops the biggest lie in sea scallops um, a lot of people love scallops uh, scallops are in season year round, typically, depending upon the area. Certain areas have uh, here in um, the northeast, certain areas. Scallops are from all, scallops are all over the world, northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere. Um, there's two different types of scallops. There's a sea scallop and a base scallop. A base scallop are the very small scallops, uh, and a sea scallop is the uh, larger scallops. So, two different types of scallops. Um, and it's not really the age of the scallop. It's it's there are two different distinctive types of scallops. And there's also something else called the diver scallop as well, uh, which we're going to talk about. And um, I want to talk about diver scallops, how they are uh, one of the biggest lies in, in this in this in, in uh, with scallops. That's what this uh, video is going to be pertaining to. But good morning, everybody tuning in. Um, Joel's on. A few other people are on. Uh, hi, Karen. Karen's here. So tonight we have an amazing wine dinner that we are. Um, doing here before I jump into the scallops we're doing a fun event tonight we're doing a brown bag wine event where um, you can play along and guess the region of the wine the varietals things like that and well I'll, I'll throw hints in um, so you can say like, oh this is an Italian wine and and this is a uh, maybe it's a Chianti um, so uh, maybe it's Sangiovese grape so or Merlot or whatever Chardonnay so I have some fun new wines in that are not on our list, so people won't be able to reference back and forth. Uh, but it's going to be a little fun and and, um, and create some discussion and open people's eyes up to some new regions of wine, uh, which is going to be really, really fun, or regions that have been around, but we just haven't, you just normally don't walk into a store and say, you know, for example, like, I want an Austrian Sauvignon Blanc. So um, even though there are lots of awesome wines uh, from regions, that are uh, underutilized or underknown. So that's tonight. Uh, what do we have? Two seats left, Courtney? I think we just had a four top can, so we had more bookings. Um, so we have about two seats left. So if anybody wants in on that tonight, um, it's going to be a fun event. And it comes with one dish. So it's four wines, which is four half pours, which equals two glasses. And it is um, uh, and one dish, which we're doing a pasta dish tonight. I have this great pasta. Jamie, can you hand me the pasta from um, the Lemon Penne? So we're doing this lemon penne pasta um, that comes from Apulia, Italy. Uh, we get it from the importer. Uh, really, really. We've actually, Jamie and I have actually been to this pasta manufacturer. Um, if you're watching on on, on video here, uh, so we've been to this place in Puglia. This is right there. Um, this is their lemon penne. They make some of the most, of the most amazing, amazing all natural pastas. Uh, lots and lots of fun shapes. We did a Facebook Live from there, Jamie and I, um, two years ago now. It's so hard to believe, two years ago. Um, last time we were in Italy, uh, almost. It was November two years ago. So we did a Facebook Live while we were there. And um, uh, really, really cool. We met Vino, the owner, and he showed us around. So that's one, one of our archive videos here uh, through our lives, which you can check out all of our live videos there is a place in facebook to go back and click through and watch all the lives so the lives so you want to go back to november of 2017 2017 2018 2018 maybe 2018 and uh, you'll see uh, us doing pasta there in apulia all right so scallops the biggest lie about scallops there are so many menus right now that have on their menu diver scallops diver scallops are exactly how they sound a diver goes out and grabs them and picks them up and brings them and harvests them puts them in a bag and harvests them they go down and pick up each scallop hand by hand diver scallops are traditionally the largest scallops uh because they're not being commercially harvested and the divers go down and pick them up it's a much, much more smaller um uh, less effective way of catching them than basically trawling for them or 
however they uh, they they um, mass catch scallops. So most restaurants, a lot of restaurants, have no idea what a true diver scallop is. When they serve these larger scallops, they automatically call them diver scallops, just because it's a marketing it's a marketing term. It's totally a marketing term. But they want to be diver scallops. They want to be diver scallops. They just don't understand what a true diver scallop is. So now, right now, if a menu has on their, um, Karen goes, do they have those layered shapes? Yes, Karen. They had all those layered shapes. Really cool. So diver scallops, because, and chefs know this, restaurant owners know this, they're expensive. Diver scallops are much more expensive because they're hand-picked. Now, not saying that a diver scallop is better than a normal sea scallop. It's just a different way of harvesting it. So it's much more hands-on. It's like picking olives by hand versus taking machines that mechanically harvest olives and then make olive oil. It's just totally different scale, the production. Now, if a restaurant has diver scallops on their menu right now, they're either one, lying, or they're serving you a frozen, previously frozen, which is nothing wrong with previously frozen, previously frozen diver scallops. I've never really seen previously frozen diver scallops available. They might be out there, I'm not sure, but I know that it's not one of those things that I've ever seen to buy previously frozen diver scallops. Now, here's why it's either previously frozen or they're lying. Diver scallops are only in season from um, November 1st till March. That's it. When the waters are the coldest, believe it or not, are when diver scallops are in season. Another reason why diver scallops are so expensive. Not many people are saying, gee, I want to jump into the ocean the coldest time of the year and go handpick scallops. But that is when they are in season from November 1st until uh, sometime in March. And they'll call the season in March typically. Uh, other than that, the, all those big scallops that, that we're getting are all mass harvested scallops. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but they're not a diver scallops. It's totally misrepresenting those people who are jumping out there in frigid temperatures in these suits and going down to pick scallops. They are the ones that deserve to get paid the extra money, and the chefs who are supporting this are the ones that are that deserve to be able to charge extra money because they're paying more money for these. And it's not that it's a little more money. These diver scallops can be significantly more money which is another reason why restaurants are fabricating the truth about their divers, about their scallops, because they are definitely much more money. Um, better quality, one can argue and say, yes, they're hand-picked as opposed to trawled and you know, and, and this and that. So they can say, yes, of course, it's a better quality, fresher, whatever. But that's the truth behind scallops. If it says diver, it's, picked hand, it's supposed to be hand-picked by, indeed, a diver in the coldest months of the year, um, in the coldest water, very frigid. So that's the story with that. So um, now that you go, if you go to a restaurant and you see diver scallops on the menu outside of that season, you can simply say, oh, are these previously frozen scallops? And when they say no, you can say, well, gee, I don't think those are quite diver scallops. <laughs> so um, that is it on the scallops. Scallops, are, scallops are, are, I love scallops. And we were doing a scallop and corn risotto here um, for a while, for about a month. And now it's a Sam Wild Salmon risotto. And at some point we'll bring back scallops. In fact... Jamie, for my shoot tomorrow, my photo shoot or our video shoot here, we're doing a farm to table segment um, that uh, with Hudsey TV tomorrow, Hawthorne Valley. So uh, they go to Hawthorne Valley, then they come here and I cook and they interview me and all that kind of stuff. And it's a whole day of filming tomorrow. It's literally from 10 a.m. to 4. Uh, we'll be filming here at the restaurant for Hudsey TV tomorrow. And I'm probably going to make a scallop dish. Um, with Hawthorne Valley sauerkraut. So I'll make like a choucroute, probably a, a creamy turmeric choucroute sauce with fresh local tomatoes, pan seared scallops. Maybe I'll do it with halibut. I'm not quite sure what I'll do with, but tomorrow, tomorrow's uh, dish that we'll be doing, being featured, we'll be having lots and lots of local ingredients on it, except for the fish, uh, the halibut, or the scallops that they're in season right now. And scallop season is funny because, like, if you go to, like, we were in Martha's Vineyard back in May. And the scallop season was already closed for the beds there. Um, so they have beds out there. And they were all marked. And I was talking to one of the park rangers there. And he's like, oh, yeah, the scallop season is, is closed right now. It was already scallop, it was already scallop season. And it's right there, you know, in, in the bays. And he goes, they'll open up again at some point, you know, later in the season. But they're open and close, open and close, open and close. Same thing with George's Bank. George's Bank is a really um, great fishing ground if you ever watch The Perfect Storm. 
uh, that's the George's Bank, and it's a couple hundred miles off of Gloucester, and the boats go out for 14 days at a time, and uh, a lot of ground fish there because it's basically this plateau in the ocean there that gets light down to you know its depth of I think 60 feet or something. I forget how deep it is exactly, but light will light will shine down and create lots of plant growth, which in in turn creates you know, lots of different diversity of species with fish. And because it's on a plateau, it's very turbulent. Uh, so the fish there create, uh, have more muscles, um, more, more muscular strength. And this, it's one of those uh, um, areas that is a prized fishing ground. So George's Bank, sometimes you'll see George's Bank scallops on somebody's menu. That's also another term that you can look for. Day, day boat scallops are another term. Day boat means that boat goes out for one day and comes back that same day. So it can be day boat scallops. It can be day boat anything. Um, but because it's day boat doesn't mean it's diver caught. So, um, of course, diver caught is um, the um, highest quality, the most expensive scallops out there. So diver scallops, only in season from November 1st till, till, um, till March sometime when they call the season. And that's it with that, folks. Um, I've got to get back to work here. Um, got to check in today at the Airbnb. I uh, got some stuff to do up there. Busy, uh, busy two days up at the Airbnb. We have a lot of um, catering. Um, going on up there in the next two days we had a super super busy weekend too we were serving entrees last night until 9 30 or so 9 45 serving entrees until last night it was a super busy 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 sunday night sunday here so thank you everybody if you came in we appreciate the support and busy weekend overall i was in the kitchen a lot this weekend i had um our sous chef keith was uh, off on vacation and we had somebody um call in unfortunately um, and so I got thrown into the kitchen full force. I was going to be in the kitchen anyway, but then we were short one more staff person. So it made an interesting, interesting Saturday. We got along, every, food went out, everything went out great, but, um, just all hands on deck and, and Jamie even had to jump in and help out a little bit on Saturday in the kitchen. Um, so I some vegetables and make some pizzas and things like that. So, all right, that is it folks. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Karen, Ralph, Jennifer, Craig, Joel, uh, hi, Gina. My cousin Gina's on. She just joined. Hi, Gina. So that's it, folks. Everybody have a great day, and we'll talk to you later.